Hi everyone, I'm Tom Solid and I welcome you to the Paperless Movement YouTube channel. Today, this will be a shorter video because I just want to show you one specific feature inside Notion that you know I really use on a daily basis and I think it's awesome. I'm a visual person, that's something I don't have in Rome Research. I see definitely the advantages of Rome Research with the neural network and the flat non-hierarchical structure of the pages and the cross links and backlinks and i'm really looking for ways how i can bring these two systems together so that's the ultimate goal actually take the advantage of rome research structure but i think notion is also capable of something like this so stay tuned if you haven't already subscribed to this channel because i will talk about this very soon how you can actually set up Notion in a way that it works like Rome Research and you will also understand the advantages actually Notion has over Rome Research in this regards. So stay tuned for this one but today I want to show you quickly the feature that I really love about Notion. Okay we are here now in the Notion inside Notion and all I have here is a, this demo account that I set up along with my official accounts to make it easier to show you some stuff here. And let's say we create a database, all right? So make it a full page and it's a people database. So we make a people database and we want to collect information of about several people like authors of books and all this, okay? So let's just say we have the author David, David Allen from the book, from the book, sorry. Getting things done. We can name this author of. And the way I set this up in my own system, actually, I will have here a relation to the database of books. So I, how this works actually, and why it's so important not to only make a text box here and write in the name of the book, but actually link it to other databases. I will also show you in, in future videos. But what I want to show you, we get a list here of uh, people Let's just put me in there and, you know, Ali Abdar maybe from a YouTube channel. So we could also make uh, one thing of the YouTube channels. And so on. So you, I think you get the idea. So I was talking about visually pleasing things and what you can do now you can open up this page because each row is one page that contains these properties. And in here, I can add an icon. So it's easier for me to understand that is David Allen, okay? I don't know if he even plays golf. So you can choose any uh, icon here. But what you also can do, you can upload an image if you have an image from David Allen, or you can add a link. And this is really the important part now, adding a link. So what we do, we open up uh, the Chrome browser and now I will search on LinkedIn for David Allen. There we go. So here we are, David Allen. And what I can do now, but you are, we can just click on this picture, right click onto it and then copy image address. And now we go in here, go to link and add it in here. And now I have the picture from David Allen from his LinkedIn profile. So the big advantage doing this, first of all, it's very fast doing this instead of downloading a picture and uploading it in here. But the big advantage is as soon David changes his picture on his LinkedIn profile, it will be updated here as well. So let's go to Twitter. And you know, you can go to any channel they are on and search there for David Allen. Getting things done. Here's the GTD guy, that's him. And here you see you have a different picture. So you could also use this one. Sometimes it's not available. So click onto the picture and it becomes available. And here we add it. 
and now we have this picture in here and you also have the cover image so that's similar when we have the cover, uh, cover image change the cover then we can upload something we can link and we can use unsplash so for example we could uh, add um, project management for example and it will bring up some things like this and then we can choose a picture like this in the end and we can reposition the picture all good but here again we can also change this cover image and link it to the cover image he uses on his Twitter profile. Bam. So now we have this here and as soon as he changes it on his Twitter profile, maybe at some later point, it will change in here as well. So this means I always have updated images here. For example, we add uh, Steve Jobs in here as well. Okay, and we add Steve Jobs here and we get uh, go to images here we pick an image that looks like uh, you know have a profile image and then I always look on what website it is from so you can be sure it will stay there for a bit longer if you have some random website you don't know this might uh, disappear and will mess up with your picture so wikipedia is a good bet that it will stay there stay there for longer we click onto this click right right click here copy image address and do the same again link it here bam steve jobs just right there and it is really nice there so what you can do then is also make a gallery view out of this and then you go to the three dots go to properties and in here you have card preview and there you can choose if it should take the page content or the page cover so here for example it takes the page cover from david allen and uh, shows it this way so this is just a simple thing maybe um maybe you think oh tom and you're doing a video about this just for showing this i think it's really important when i show you my system and i will show you how all these different things work together for example things like let's say i'm i'm talking about notion and you have a database about software so we could uh here again we could just search for notion logo and check, pick some one here add it there done and this is even better see now you see the notion logos so this means whenever you are on a different page and with the backlinks you start to write now notion it is so much more pleasing with the new backlink system and this logo to have it in here um, Steve Jobs yeah maybe a question mark not sure about this but you get the idea and as soon as I click on to notion now you see the backlink to this page where notion is mentioned so this is really building up the ROM but I don't dive into this now make sure that you subscribe to this channel and I will come up with a new video about this more in detail how this works like Rome works um, but for now I just wanted to show you how nice it is uh, to have these different possibilities to add dynamic links to your pages so they update on their own as soon those people update their pages all right so if you like this video share it with your friends give it a thumbs up and as i said if you haven't already subscribed to this channel so i can catch you up next time